Vida. With us are Miss Jessica. Hi. Miss Mai. Hi. Miss Dewi. Hi. And Miss Rani. Hi. Today we are going to have a virtual field trip at Central Park Jun. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now we are in the bus. We can see a lot of beautiful scenery on our trip. Let's enjoy the view and sing. We are going to the zoo. Tiket, kita juga harus memakai masker, menjaga jarak, dan yang paling penting adalah mengecek suhu tubuh dan menjaga kebersihan lingkungan sentral pangju. Nah, pastikan kamu mengikuti aturan-aturan tersebut ya. Hai 
kids! Here are some of the facilities at Central Park Zoo. The first facility is a water park. For those of you who are tired of going around the zoo, you may also swim in a water park. For your information, the source of the water is from a spring. The second is the museum. There are a lot of various life like animal statues and other collections that can be seen here. The third is outbound. You may play on flying fox, suspension bridge, suspension bike, and flying rocks here. The fourth is a restaurant. If you are hungry or thirsty, you could enjoy a meal with various menu options. The fifth are the resorts. There are three types of resorts. Bamboo resort, wooden resort, and concrete resort. Your family can stay here for a while and you can still hear some animal sound from the zoo. The last is the aquarium. Here, you will see the baby shark, grouper fish, and other kinds of fish. That's all the facilities here. Enjoy your trip, kids! Now, we want to observe the animals. There are 47 animal species here. Let's take a look. Wow! Do you see that? That is a cassowary. The cassowary is a truly very unique bird. Its gigantic body is different from most birds and it is categorized as one of the biggest birds in the world. The cassowary might not be the nicest bird on earth, but its extraordinary appearance makes many people love this big bird. Due to its body size, this bird cannot fly, but it can run extremely fast. Cassowary has a pair of very strong legs that are capable of taking down a person with one single kick. Actually, the cassowary is a very shy animal and it naturally will go to the quiet part of the forest to avoid other creatures. This bird lives in dry places. However, Cassowaries are deemed to be very dangerous. Wow! Look at this! Do you know what animal this is? What? Peacocks? Most people call them peacocks, but that's the correct name for only the males of this type of bird. Females are called peahens and the whole group are P4. The Indonesian peacock is a bird that has a large size with colorful feathers. Peacocks are famous for their beautiful feathers. Peacocks are omnivorous. They eat many types of plants, flower petals, seeds, insects, and small reptiles, such as lizards. Let's count how many peacocks there are. One, two, three, there are three peacocks. Do you know what animal these are? Yes, you're right. These are eagles. The eagle lives in dry places like savannas and meadows. Eagle eats lizards, chicks, and other small birds. Do you know what animal these are? Yes! These are mandarin ducks. Look at the color of the feathers. They are brown, white, and black. The beak is red. Mandarin ducks eat seeds, worms, small fish, frogs, snails, and small snakes. The ducks live in wet places like rivers, lakes, or ponds. Do 
Do you know what bird it is? It is a bird of paradise, which is one of the most unique species of bird on earth. They live in dry places. The birds of paradise produce unique sounds and bear many bright colors with uniquely beautiful feathers. Include black, white, green, brown, blue, yellow, and red. They eat insects, fruit, seeds, and berries. Can this bird dance? Yes! The bird of paradise is famously known for the dance of the male birds. Some males even appear to shape shift as they dance. Dancing bird! Can you see those beautiful birds? They are Macau parrot birds. They are bright rainbow birds streaking across the sky. Their feathers can be blue, red, yellow, or green. They live in dry places. They are omnivores, or plant and animal eaters. They eat fruits, nuts, insects, snails, flowers, and small reptiles. Do you think this bird can talk? Yes, it is considered a talking bird. This means that it can mimic human speech. It doesn't really talk but can make the same sound and repeat words. Here, you may take a picture with this bird. Cheers! When you think of a crocodile, the thought of mean animal may come to mind. They are popular for their strong jaws and aggressive behavior, and it is best to just stay away. They live in wet places. Crocodiles are sometimes called living fossils because they have been living on Earth since the time of the dinosaurs. Crocodiles eat almost anything as long as it is meat. Fish is a common food for the crocodiles, but they will definitely try and eat any animal that gets close to it. Can you tell what animal it is? Yes, it is turtle. Turtles are known for their slow and steady movement. But, as you probably know, slow and steady wins the race. Let's count how many turtles there are. One, two, three, four. There are four turtles. They have a hard shell which helps keep them protected from attackers. They spend most of their lives in water and have webbed feet to help them move around. Many turtle species are able to hide their heads inside their bodies if they feel under threat. This helps keep them safe from predators. Good idea! Do you know what animal these are? That's right! These are porcupines! Can you see what the color of this animal? Yes! Their fur ranges in color from brownish yellow to black and their spot white highlights in their quills. Their quills are used to protect them against enemies. Porcupines live in wet places such as tropical forests. It is easy to find food, water, and shelter in tropical forests. It likes to eat leaves and stems of plants. Have you ever ridden a horse? 
versus a really cool and beautiful animals that can really help humans. Here is some cool information about horses for you. Horses are four-legged animals that have been around us humans for a really, really long time as they were used for transport. They live in dry places. Can you see the color of the horses? Yes, they are brown and black. They mostly eat hay and grasses. They also like peas and beans fruit like apples and we're sure many of you have fed them carrots they like this too now let's count how many horses there are one two three four five six seven there are seven horses horses can sleep standing up or lying down now, that's quite amazing. Imagine sleeping standing up. Hmm. Can you tell us the name of this animal? Yes, it is a lion. Known as the king of the jungle, a lion is certainly an interesting animal. Lions are the second biggest big cat species in the world. They live in dry places. Do you know the lion sound? Wow! The roar of a lion can be heard from far away. So, that roar stretches a long way indeed. Let's count how many lions there are in the cage. One, two! There are two lions in the cage. What does the king of the jungle eat? They eat large animals such as zebras, antelopes, buffaloes, young elephants, and giraffes. If they're hungry, they can certainly be a bit cheeky and they will steal kills from other carnivores like hyenas, wild dogs, cheetahs, and leopards. Look after your food if you're around a lion. That's for sure. Kids, do you know what animal it is? Yes, it is a deer. Deer are known for being calm and gentle animals. Male deer are called bucks. Female deer are called dust and baby deer are called fawns. They live in dry place. What do they eat? They only eat plants and grass. They are not picky eaters and will snack on almost any kind of plants they can find. They are even big fans of berries and flower in your garden. They are great swimmers and can run extremely fast when trying to get away from threats. That's as fast as a car driving in your neighborhood. What a fast runner! Do you know what animal these are? These are rabbits. A female rabbit is called a doe. A male rabbit is called bat. A young rabbit is called kid or kitten. A rabbit can live up to 10 years. Rabbits have long ears which can be as long as 10 centimeters. Do you know how rabbits move? Rabbits move by hopping. Right now, we are standing in front of one iconic cat, the Sumatran tiger. Isn't he beautiful? Wow, he's big! Did you know tigers are the largest members of the cat family? The male tigers weigh up to 300 kilograms. Jeez, that's like weighing a group of six average humans. 
tigers have a varied diet and can eat anything that comes their way, be it a wild boar, deer, bear, bird, crocodile, or even their own group, cats like leopards. They live in dry places. Have you ever watched Winnie the Pooh? I'm about to show you the real Winnie the Pooh. Just kidding. Meet Chucky, Opet, and Pretty. How cute, right? Chucky, Pretty, and Opet are sun bears. This bear is often referred to as the honey bear due to their appetite for honeycombs and honey. Sun bear is the smallest bear species in the world. They live in dry places. Their long sharp claws enable them to dig easily into the ground and break into logs. And their massive jaw muscles make it possible to bite through the bark of trees in search of insects and honey. And they can extend their tongues up to 25 centimeters to extract honey and insects. It is an excellent climber and is mainly active during the day. Now I'm standing in front of animals that spend their entire lives in the trees. They eat there, sleep there, and they like to swing from branch to branch. Can you guess the animal? Yes, it's the orang utan. For your information, Orangutans are not monkeys. They don't have a tail. The name orangutan means man of the forest in the Malay language. Orangutans are very smart. They sit under leafy branches for protection from rain and sun. This is a kind of shark, black tip reef shark. Many people catch this animal to consume the meat, fin, and liver oil. Therefore, the amount of black tip reef shark is rare in some places. The shark eats small fish, crustacean, sea snake, and seabirds. There are six sharks in this aquarium. Rani, bagaimana dengan tugasmu? Apakah sudah selesai? Belum nih, masih mengerjakan. Bagaimana dengan tugas kamu? Ini aku sudah selesai. Wah, aku belum. Aku kerjain dulu ya punyaku. Oke. Okay. Hmm, hmm, perut itu lapar sekali. Hmm, Rani, apakah kamu punya makanan? Oh, oh iya, aku punya. Sebentar ya, ini aku punya biskuit, kamu mau tidak? Terima kasih Rani Sama-sama Eh, tunggu dulu hmm. Sebelum makan, kamu cuci tangan dulu Atau pakai hand sanitizer Oh iya, aku lupa Tapi, aku nggak punya hand sanitizer Oh, aku punya, bentar Nah, kamu pakai dulu ini Terima kasih ya Rani Sama-sama Aku kerjain lagi ya tugasku. Iya. Hmm. Hmm. Lah, kok kamu buang di sana? Memangnya kenapa? Kita tidak boleh sembarangan membuang sampah. Kita harus menjaga kebersihan dimanapun kita berada. Lihat tanda itu. Iya ya Rani, sampah itu bisa merusak lingkungan. Iya. Baiklah, aku akan membuang sampah ini ke tempat sampah. 
Nah gitu dong ah, Setelah kamu buahnya Kamu pakai hand sanitizer dulu Ini kamu pakai lagi Terima kasih Rani Sama-sama Aku kerjain lagi ya tugasku Oke okay. Wah, wow, besar sekali kandang ini. Eh, Siska, ada apa? Lihat itu. Mana? Ada orang hutan. Oh iya, ya. Wah, besar sekali. Halo. Kelihatannya orang hutannya lapar ya? Iya. Bagaimana kalau kita kasih makan? Kamu punya? Punya. Aku punya kacang. Aku minta ya. Boleh. Ayo kita kasih makan. Oke. Okay. Halo orang hutan. Kamu mau kacang? Kamu mau? Ini okay. sini. Guys, apa yang kalian lakukan? Kami sedang memberi makan ma orang hutan. Kita tidak boleh sembarangan memberi makan hewan. Kenapa? Kenapa? Karena masing-masing hewan memiliki makanan yang berbeda-beda. Nanti bisa mati. Hmm. Lihat tanda itu. Pengunjung dilarang memberikan makanan kepada hewan. Oh baiklah kalau gitu kami berjanji tidak akan sembarangan kasih makan hewan. Iya kami berjanji. Ya. Oke mulai dari sekarang kita harus melestarikan hewan yang ada di taman hewan ya. Oke baiklah. Ya kita lihat hewan yang lain yuk. Ayo ayo. 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 Pada suatu hari, Ruru, Kueki, dan Monkey mengikuti karya wisata ke Central Park Zoo. Mereka sangat senang sekali bisa berjalan-jalan sambil belajar. Teman-teman, ini adalah pengalaman pertamaku pergi ke kebun binatang. Bagaimana dengan kalian? Iya, Ruru. Ini juga pengalaman pertamaku mengunjungi kebun binatang. Benar, Ruru dan Monkey. Kita bisa berwisata sambil belajar. Mereka lalu berjalan melihat binatang-binatang dengan bersemangat. Mereka juga tidak lupa mengerjakan tugas dari ibu guru. Teman-teman, aku kehilangan pensilku. Terjatuh di mana ya, Kueki? Aku tidak tahu, Ruru. Tolong pinjamkan aku salah satu pensil kalian. Ini Kueki, aku punya dua pensil. Silakan pakai saja. Terima kasih, Monkey. Teman-teman, lihat di sana. Ayo kita ke sana melihat burung. Ayo, burung. Wah, burung-burungnya cantik-cantik ya. Lalu, mereka berjalan-jalan melihat jenis binatang yang lain. Sampai waktu karya wisata selesai. That's our virtual field trip for today. We hope you enjoy this even you cannot be with us in person. I'm glad we can do these fun activities together. I hope you had fun. Stay at home and stay safe. Bye! Bye. Thank <laughs> you.